Welcome to Media Minute. For this episode, we're talking about some of our favorite fictional food that we'd like to eat and some things that we would like to see adapted. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And I'm Rachel Ledge. And for this episode, we're kicking things off by talking about food. Yes. Because Saturday morning. Yeah, breakfast time. Breakfast time. Food is on the, my mind. It's definitely. It's, it's something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, everybody watches like TV shows, movies, and uh, once in a while you see something on that screen that it, it looks delicious and you want to try it. And sometimes these things don't actually exist. Sometimes they do. But sometimes they don't. So, uh, Rachel, if you could eat something that you've seen in media, what would it be? I know this is like probably expected, but honestly, probably the Krabby Patty. The Krabby like Patty. Krabby yeah. Patty. Yeah. yeah. Sponge. The only reason. Well, like you got to think about it. Like Plankton has been after that recipe for like how long? Decades now. You got to wonder. Like, is it really that good, <laughs> or is it overhyped? Like, I want to know if the hype's worth it. You know. I, yeah. I like crab. Yeah, crab's great. I, I mean, I'm, I've, I I've had fish patties before. <laughs> I've had crab cakes. Yeah, I've had crab cakes, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be down. Yeah, for sure. Plus, you get to go to the Krusty Krab SpongeBob, me boy. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, definitely a Krabby Patty, though. That, that'd be a good one. Quick quick one as well. Like, just grab it between two buns, eat and go. Yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but hmm. we're going. <laughs> What about you? What do you guys think? Um, Chris, you want to go? Okay. If I'm going next, I got a lot. Because when, when we agreed on this topic, I was like, man, what the hell am I going to talk about? But then I actually kind of got on a roll. A crab roll? So I got, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, all right, I'm going to rattle off some uh, honorable mentions. Sure. Uh, the coffee and pie from Twin Peaks. Yep. Yep. Big Kahuna Burger mm-hmm. from yes. the Tarantino universe. Uh, the pills, I know it's not really food, but the pills from, uh, the professional that Gary Oldman takes, they never tell you what they are. Yeah. They're just pills. And he just kind of like twitches out. But they could be like. And then it just goes crazy. Vitamins. Isn't that just drugs? Yeah. But they never tell you what kind of drugs. Oh. They just, they're okay. just pills in like it's a little case. It's Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> could be. Yeah. Who knows? Nobody knows. Uh, the cotton candy from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yep. Yes, definitely. Uh, the Kaboom cereal from Kill Bill. Mm-hmm. Yep. Any box of cereal that comes with a free gun is yep. in yep. it. That's a real cereal, by the way. I, when, when I was oh, like, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought it was just like a, like a, maybe like a production designer kind of joke. Yeah. No, it was a real cereal oh. called Kaboom. Kaboom cereal? Kaboom. Yeah, it was real. Didn't That's come, incredible. Yeah. It didn't come with a free gun in it. No. Wow. But, but, it, but it is a cereal. Yes. I could see a lot of lawsuits if they tried to... Do yeah, that kind yeah. of a promotion. You don't even get toys and cereal now. You get like promo codes for websites. It's sad. It's so lame. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I miss the AOL trials. Yeah. That would yeah. Come in, come in like your well, there's a period too. Like it would be like video game discs. You get like Transport Tycoon. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I, I actually still have those games. Like yeah. I remember like getting like the Fruit Loops and getting, I think it was like Sims Roller Coaster. We got like four of those discs because we kept trying to get different ones, but that was the only one we could get. Yeah. Okay. But to my actual answer <laughs> for the first one, I just had to rattle those off real quick. Um, Taco Bell. <laughs> it, in <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Taco Bell is real, Chris. But I want the version that's in Demolition Man. Yeah, the one that has won the uh, franchise wars. Exactly. Apparently it's, it's like it's like tapas. Yeah. Apparently in uh, the European version, it's Pizza Hut. Really? Because uh, oh they don't have Taco Bell in like Europe. Or, so, or something oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, deal with it. Yeah, there's there's or two there's two versions of Demolition Man. One where it's Pizza Hut, I think, and the other it's Taco Bell. That's kind of funny. Taco Bell, come on. Yeah, Demolition I mean, P- Man. Pizza Hut's cool. Fantastic everything. movie as well. I guess it's the same company. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, the Taco Bell from Demolition Man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I knew you guys were be like Taco Bell already. <laughs> Taco Bell three. I was like, I know, but I want the version <laughs> that's in Demolition. Man. So you want like a fancy Taco Bell where yeah. you have to dress up. Like the, like the bougie. Spend, spend your yeah. uh, Schwarzenegger dollars, is it? 
Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Schwarzen <laughs> Schwarzenegger ended up president, I think, in yeah. in the timeline. And then you got to yeah. learn how to use the three C cells. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> with, with Rob Snyder. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. We're just naming names now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Taco Bell. Back to Demolition Bell. Man. Yeah. Because you can never have enough Taco Bell. And if every restaurant in the world is a Taco Bell, I'm, yeah. You'd be set. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. For me, I have to go with uh, any food in a Studio Ghibli movie. Yes. Because okay. <laughs> it looks 100%. Right. fantastic. It looks better Absolutely. than real life. <laughs> well, like, like, I, I would I remember... totally be turned into a pig in Spirited Away because, like, that buffet oh looks God, fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I, I got to give her props for like being with a withhold because like looking at the food, I was like, oh my god, this looks so good. Like yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Every time I watch a Studio Ghibli movie, I have to have food with me, otherwise I'm sitting there the whole time just like an egg. Wishing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, Rachel, you got anything else? Yeah, actually, any uh, Disney movie food, like definitely, like some of the ones that I can think of specifically are like the little. Um, Oh, what are they called? It's like the French version of a donut. I can't remember, but it's like um, something that Tiana made in uh, Princess and the Frog. She just like put powdered sugar on it and stuff, and it looks, oh my God, it looks incredible. It looks so good. Um, and then Ratatouille, when they make Ratatouille yeah. for like the food critic, because how good is the food that it actually transports you from like where you are to like a past memory? Like that's got to be some really good food. And it's, it's it's like just sliced up vegetables. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be some really good sliced up vegetables, right? Actually, yeah. there's a there's a girl on TikTok. I thought I found her, and um, she actually recreates all the Disney food. Okay, so like she'll she'll give people like the recipes and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, this is my favorite place ever. I've never tried making one, but I love watching it. <laughs> yeah, Chris, you got anything else? Or you, oh you, oh, I got tons. Oh man, he's he's <laughs> I am I am prepared. Yeah, it's all Taco Big Bell. Time. Oh, it is. I, it actually no, is Taco I wish. I wish. It should be. It should be all Taco Bell. Yeah. Uh, number two, Killer Tomatoes. Yep. From Attack, Attack of the Killer, Killer Tomatoes. Yeah. You'd like to you eat. You want to Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, who wouldn't want a bunch of, like, murderous tomatoes? Just, like, you made me think of one as well. I'll, I'll, I'll let you finish up. But. Marauding around town. Yeah. If you got a Sparta kick your way through a wall full of murderous tomatoes just to get to work that yeah. sounds like a fun day fun start of your day yeah, yeah. and it's free, and it's free tomatoes if you've ever had they like come a to really you. good tomato like oh yeah. yeah like a garden tomato like that like a something that's been sitting in the grocery store for like a week yeah i mean oh yeah really fresh tomatoes are like life-changing oh man I they went, are i went to school with this one kid yeah who would eat tomatoes like like an apple yeah freak me out they are fruit Technically, yeah. It, yeah, but something about that just seems wrong. <laughs> it's because you eat it with vegetables, like yeah. It's more of a yeah. It's more of an ingredient than a yeah. Like a what, center. Is ketchup fruit juice? No, I think it's just I think it's just <laughs> sugar. Yeah, I'm look, pretty look sure. Look on Rachel's just, face there. That was <laughs> yeah, like it kind of made me. It made me think. I don't know. I would. I would hope it's not juice because if anybody's like taking like like a Heinz ketchup bottle and just throwing a straw in there, my dude. Yeah. You gotta it's, get. It's you gotta get checked. Thick. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. For for me, yeah. since you said that, it made me think of something else. And uh, Stay Puft marshmallows. Yeah. From Ghostbusters, especially the new ones. Yeah. Those yeah. Tiny, the tiny bite size ones. Tiny ones. Yeah. They're bite size. Yeah. It's great. I'd, l I'd love to try some Stay Puft Marshmallows. Looks like they cook themselves, too, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's very gremlin-ish. Yeah. Hop in the... Yeah. Hop between the uh, two layers of, of s'mores crack... Or graham crackers and... Yeah. I mean, self-cooking self, self, self marshmallows. Actually, I'm going to segue... Genius. I'm going to segue into chocolate right now for my next pick. Okay. If I if I may. Go for it. Uh, the chocolate cake from Matilda. Yep. Yes. Oh, my God. That, such a good one. That kid was all about it. I want to know what, what the deal is. It's got to be a good cake. It's got to be. Yeah. Well, was it, wasn't that, like, almost a punishment, though, at the same time? Like, yeah, he was down for it, but, like, she was, like, force-feeding him. Yeah, but it backfired. Yeah. Kind of. I feel like if that was, like, in real life, you could, like, potentially blow up somebody's stomach with that much cake. Well, that kid didn't seem worried. No. So, yeah. It must have been good. That's my one pick. I, I want to know <laughs> yeah. what that, the chocolate cake from Matilda tastes like. That's a good one. That seems like that seems like it had to have been delicious. I, I guess we're going in backwards order, so we're back to Rachel. Again yeah, now. yeah. If you got anything oh else. yeah, <laughs> um, 
I'm trying to think. I don't know. Oh, actually, yeah. Speaking of Disney movies, uh, Brave, they had these little puff pastries. Yep. That, like, the kids kept stealing and stuff, and it looked delicious. And, like, every time I see it, I'm like, what does that taste like? I'm like, that's got to be really good. <laughs> like, that's the problem is, like, watching these movies, it's, like, like just talking about it, too. Like, my mouth is watering right now because all I can think of is, like, how good is this food going to be? <laughs> Have you ever seen, like, a, a food, like, a real-life food and then, like, on a movie or whatever, then tried it and then bis- been disappointed because you've built it up in your mind so much? Ooh. Pad Thai. <laughs> that th- really for me Turkish Turkish that. delight yes, was, oh, line oh. the witch in the wardrobe like the Oof. kid was all yep. about Turkish delight then you try it it tastes like sadness it, Turkish yeah, delight is, is probably the worst chocolate bar ever invented. Yeah. this is a jujube covered in chocolate pretty much which sounds well, kind of not bad but it is You like logically it should be it should work yeah like because you're putting chocolate you're also putting jujubes two things that are incredible on their own but then you put them together and it's just yeah, See, I agree. Yeah. Now, it's sadness. Now you all understand my uh, dilemma, my constant struggle with pad thai. Yep. I like everything that's in it, but I've tried it probably two together, dozen times. Yep. Doesn't work. It's just in the same bowl for some reason. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. At, speaking of food that like we've tried or like want to try and stuff, like this is totally off off but not really off topic um those little like fish cakes that you see in like every studio ghibli movie it's like a pastry uh, yeah takioki i think no it's not yeah. takioki. I, I forget the name of it you like you know what i'm talking about right yeah it's like little, I, yeah every time i, I see don't. that i'm like i, I want to try it so badly yeah um i'm trying to ha- i don't know how to explain it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about it kind of looks like yeah. bread but it's shaped like a fish yeah. yeah, and it's like I remember in Kiki's Delivery Service, which was like one that I binged all the time when I was a kid. I still do now because it's one of my favorites. Every time I see it in there, I'm just like, I need to try this. And like, it's a real food, but it's like, I don't want to like buy it like non-authentically. So I feel like I have to wait to go to Japan to try yeah, it. Yeah, like, and try, properly, try the know? actual stuff. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, I don't think anybody can make it as well as they can, right? So it's like, okay, I got to wait. But it's like, every time I watch it, I'm like... Oh, I'm going to book a flight right now. <laughs> I, I just want to go to a, like a Japanese 7-Eleven because apparently like they have so many like meals and stuff like that. That's try that, <laughs> try that out. It's just like convenience store food, but you know, you get like fried chicken and stuff there. Yeah. Like you can get everything. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Actually, hold on. That segues yeah. quite nicely into my next, <laughs> my next one. It's all this, about the food. Yeah. This food is real. Is it? But I've never had it. But- it had a movie sort of made after it. White Castle. Yeah. I've never yeah, had... Yeah, hey, I've, here we go. Yeah, I've, I've never had White Castle. Never, I've had Sonic. I've had Jack in the Box. Yeah. Never had White Castle. And apparently I want my... Uh, I want to f- fulfill my uh, culinary desires. Yeah. By eating those, what are apparently awesome little burgers. Yep. And yeah, they're, they're like sliders, burgers. aren't they? I think so. But yeah. maybe a little bigger. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've I'm never I'm been. I'm not sure. But yeah, you're right. I'd, I'd like to try the White Castle burgers. Come to Canada, White good. Castle. Yeah, for sure. Five Guys did it. Did they? Yeah, they're American. Yeah. They're in Canada, oh, yeah. though? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're, so we're, we're, we, we're in the middle of nowhere, so like our, our yeah. fast food selection is pr- pretty limited. It's pretty, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Perks of living next to a big city. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, uh, I think it's Landis Bread from The Hobbit. Uh, not Hobbit. Yes. Uh, Lord of the Rings. The, yep. the bread okay. that they get, that which is apparently like super filling, and what I, I want to try that. It looks so good. It's supposed to be dope bread. <laughs> is it better than Bannock, though? I don't know. Oh, that's tough. Probably not. Bannock that, is pretty incredible. Bet. Yeah, fried bread is is good. Yeah, like you're yeah. already you're already in the winning like in the winner's circle. Yeah. Yeah. It's like pure. <laughs> you're eating like pure sugar though, because like <laughs> yeah. white flour is basically. Pure sugar. You throw some ketchup on there Absolutely. and yeah. you're good to go. <laughs> now get a glass of ketchup for your fruit juice. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gross. What what about Pep's Blue Ribbon Ramen? <laughs> Haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Haven't tried it yet. He apparently That's a real thing, Chris, Chris has a package. Oh, I got more than one. I'm very curious. <laughs> yeah, I'll, that should just be a that should be a special all on its own. Just like Chris I, making. I, I think we need to do like a Pep's Blue Ribbon uh, Ramen challenge yeah i'm down i agree yeah. let's do <laughs> All right, it let's make that happen well, we got a kitchen here in the studio <laughs> it's true we yeah. do you have the capability you have to do it now yeah 
Does anyone have any more? Because I do. <laughs> oh, I was going to just say, like, this isn't really a food, but, like, I remember when, like, The Office was super popular and they did, like, the whole Chili's episode. Oh, yeah. I worked at a Chili's and you would not believe how many people would show up and just be like, welcome to Chili's. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I've heard it, like, a thousand times. Oh, like, yeah. you, you're not you're not original. But, like, I think that's kind of interesting, too, because, like, we were talking about how White Castle is, like, one of those things we want to try that's, like, real. It's like it's funny because it's like people are like, yeah, Chili's. Like I've only, the only reason I heard about Chili's was because of The Office. And I'm like, huh, it's kind of crazy. Like when you think about it, like how much power like a movie or a TV show can have, like in introducing different things to people. It's it's nuts. Yeah, Chris, I think it's all you, man. I got one last yep, one. I got nothing else. <laughs> yep. Uh, the dots from Pac-Man slash Miss Pac-Man. Sure. What are those? That's fair. Yeah. There was a Pac-Man cereal. The, yeah. yeah and Once upon a time. And a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what are they eating? Yeah. And I want to know what they taste like. They probably don't. I mean, like, they got to be good. And for right? sure. I mean, I, I don't even know if they're food. The guy gets haunted. Yeah. Well, he's trying to eat them. Like, imagine going into like a haunted house to eat something eat. because the food inside is so good. White white balls. Yeah. That's pretty intense, actually. So, there's just the, the, the mystique. Of what's going on there is, have, is what attracts. Have me. you ever seen like uh, that yeah. piece of art? It's like it's supposed to be Pac-Man. It's like a guy in a like yellow spacesuit, and he's picking up like I guess it's like antipsychotic pills, and like there's like I three th- like oh, ghost uh, astronauts behind him. I think I have seen that. Yeah. That sounds really familiar. Yeah, it's been a minute. That's it's, a, it's a neat interpretation. Of it. Speaking of cereal, apparently they're bringing back Ghostbuster cereal. Nice. I'm gonna, really? I'm gonna have to get some. I, I love want them, that. I want them to bring back a nerd's cereal. Oh, yeah. That was a thing. Yeah. And like the there was ser- nerd cereal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we could get it in Canada just because, like, when I was a kid, we did all of our grocery shopping in the States. Yeah. But, like, a, yeah, like, the cereal box was just, like, a giant nerd's box. Yeah. So you'd have, like, say, uh, like, red on one side, purple on the other. They called it strawberry and grape, but come yeah. on. We know the this is food dye. But, yeah, no, that, was, that was great. Yep. They even had a Nintendo version. Not of nerds, but yeah. the same kind of like a they, Yeah, it was like box. called the Serial Entertainment System. Yeah, they had uh, <laughs> Mar- Mario on one side and Zelda on the other. Yeah. I I, oh, I don't man. think I've ever had it or if I could get it, but I remember seeing it advertised. All right. Uh, I'm just going to fade back into nostalgia. You guys can just yeah. take the show from here. Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> into a self-induced imaginary food coma. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to get some lunch after this, though. Oh, my God. I Guys, we forgot, like, one of the biggest places to, like, try food for movies. What's that? Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Oh, yeah. But uh, is there, like, Willy... Yeah, Nerds is, like, a Wonka product. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess, hey. Like, but, uh, like, there's certain, you can get ta- Wonka bars. Sweet Tarts, I think, were, too. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, there's, like, Wonka, there's the brand, it's, like, exists and stuff, but, like, I'm talking about actually going into the factory and, like, trying, like, the lollipop trees and, like, all that kind of stuff. And having you some, can't do that. Having several children uh, murdered or mutilated. Well, yeah. maybe not normal, that part. Normal Saturday at the factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, like, the like the chocolate waterfall, like, come on. Like, yeah. nobody nobody's thought of that? Like, nobody was... But, but like, don't they well, have like, those things at wedding awesome. though? It's like a chocolate like fountain. You're yeah, spo- you that, dip like real. strawberry stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, it's like a fun yeah, that's true. Yeah, can you get like, a personal massive. version of those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably could. You probably could. <laughs> that seems a bit excessive. But yeah, there, there, yeah, but, but there's another one. I totally it just hit me like a bolt of lightning. Yeah. Nice. Is uh, are, uh, have we covered the gamut of, of food? Uh, not yet. No, nope. because oh. I'm surprised and almost embarrassed that no one brought up Scooby Snacks. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, funny story. Uh, <laughs> they did like Scooby Snacks as dog treats. Uh, for like a while. I don't know if they're still around. It used to be in like a green box and it had like the different shapes and stuff. But my auntie, when we were younger, she like convinced my sister and I to actually <laughs> try the Scooby Snacks. <laughs> How were they? <laughs> they were terrible. Don't do it. I don't yeah. know why Shaggy's into it. It was it was pretty bad. I was like, I don't. Well, I don't Sh- get Shaggy's. It. To be fair, Shaggy has the munchies. Yes. So all for, the time. for undisclosed reasons. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, okay, fair, like, maybe, but, like, yeah, being, like, an eight-year-old and having your auntie convince you to uh, eat a Scooby snack, don't do it. Just don't. It's not It's not a good time. <laughs> you have to love aunts and uncles like that. Right? Yeah. The ones that get I mean, you into trouble. 
Yeah. Well, my mom was just like she came like in cuz like she was outside. I think we we're having like a like a family get together, so like we had people outside, inside and all that. She came in and she was like, "What the hell are you guys doing?" We're like, "Oh, well, we wanted to see what the hype about Scooby Snacks were." And she just kind of like looked at us, grabbed her drink and walked out. She's like, "No, nope, <laughs> not dealing with it. Not happening. Not today." Eh? <laughs> that that's a big no. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I would like to mention one that um I'm glad does not exist okay. in real life. Oh, okay. Everything from Sausage Party. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just all of them. <laughs> well, I mean, those foods exist, but... In, in that state? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, well, no. hopefully not. That was a yeah. weird movie. That was... You could tell... The fact that it got movie. made, like, blows my mind. Yeah. I, like, you gotta wonder a little bit if there wasn't a little bit of, uh, you know... Munchies involved with that. I'm, I'm you know sure what I mean? that <laughs> Seth Rogen was involved. I'm sure Munchies were involved. Yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're probably. I, sure. I have another one that I'm really glad doesn't exist. What's that? Slurm from Futurama. I didn't I they know. make they, didn't they make Slurm? I, I'm pretty sure. I like, a, like I'm sure they made it as like a novelty thing, but uh, they they might have, but I don't remember yeah. ever seeing it. Well, but like the uh, the actual version the of the stuff Slurm that, that comes they, out like, of an alien's butt. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, I'm good. No, I am a okay not to try this ever. <laughs> I, I, I like the party slug from that episode. What was it? Slurms McGee or whatever it was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, because they were like ripping off of uh, what was it? Spuds. What was I? I yeah. can't remember. There was like a dog or like a mascot that they were kind of like playing off of. All, all I can think of now is Duff Man from uh, The Simpsons. Actually, I would be down to try a Duff. Duff. I, I've I've seen novelty cans of Duff, Duff as well. Duff. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Duff I man that. can't breathe. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Duff man's facing legal litigation. I'm not sure if that's a line <laughs> or not, but it sounds like something he'd say. <laughs> I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was something he said. <laughs> Duff man has a restraining order. Oh no, yeah. Duff man, no. <laughs> there's, there's no gentle way to segue into what we're talking about next. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, are, are not, we, not that we have to move on. Yeah, are, are we, are we I can talk about food all day. Are we good? Oh. I can talk about yeah, Taco Bell think, all day. Yeah. I don't think I got anything else. Yeah, I'm I'm food wise. blanking now for, for oh yeah yeah uh, land before time. Uh, what's the name of those leaves? The star leaves or whatever they are. Yeah, oh, tree stars. Tree stars. They look delicious. They're like dragon they're just, fruit? They're just, no, they're just, just a plant. <laughs> it's just leaves. But man, the way that they're described in that movie, tree stars. I don't think yeah. I've seen a leaf and thought to myself, <laughs> man, that looks delicious. I mean, you, you <laughs> eat lettuce, I guess. But but I don't look at lettuce and be like, oh, man, I can't wait to eat this lettuce. Listen, sometimes I like to pretend I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> no, I, let, him, let him dream, <laughs> damn it. Let me dream with tree stars. <laughs> I mean, tree star salad. There you go. Yeah. You're good to go. Tree star uh, the dragon wraps? Sure. There you go. Oh, yeah. that'd be good. And awkward pause. Awkward pause. All right. <laughs> so, should, should we just move on? I, I think so. Okay. I think yeah, so. probably. Are we doing what, the spinoff thing? Uh, before we move into that. Oh, uh, what, you got something? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, myself and Rachel saw a trailer for a documentary yeah. that's coming out. It's called Street Gang. And it's it's about Sesame Street. It's kind of a behind the scenes thing. A kind of weird name for like a Sesame Street documentary, but uh, I'm a sucker for like any like behind the scenes uh, things where they show how things were created, like shows and books and stuff like that. Is it like a wholesome kind of documentary, or is it like yeah, the I think dark side of the Sesame dark side Street. of Sesame Street? Oscar it's the Grouch and his dark. drug problems. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, like, for Sesame Street, like, would it even be possible for there to be, like, a dark side? Oh, yeah, they got a history. Well, yeah. They've been around forever. There's bound to be some skeletons. For sure. I think there's I guess. some, uh... Um, but, you know, it looks super interesting. It, it's, it's so strange. Like, everyone thinks of Jim Henson as, like, the super wholesome guy. But he, he's done some dark stuff. <laughs> uh, what do you mean he's done some dark stuff? I only know the wholesome Henson. What are you talking about? Would you like some Wilkins coffee? <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant he did stuff like as a person. Like no, no, he, he may have. He went out like yeah. murdered people or something, and I was like, what? Well, like, he, Jim he's Henson murdered boy, some but... puppets. That's for sure. Yeah, he does. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, he does. I totally forgot about Wilkins Coffee. If you guys <laughs> haven't seen it, you need to watch it. Can we like put a link or something in the, like the description for people? Because it's wild. Yeah, it's very wild. Yeah, before uh, Hanson did like Sesame Street and the the Muppets, like he did a bunch of dark <laughs> coffee commercials. <laughs> very dark. Not dude. dark coffee. Yeah, dark comma coffee commercials. <laughs> Was it dark comedy? Kind of. Right. A mean, little bit? Yeah. People get a little electrocuted and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I thought it looked interesting, this trailer about Sesame Street. I agree. I'm still not over the fact that there's different big birds around the planet. Yeah. Hey, we got to outsource. Well, it's all about franchising. Yeah. Santas. How uh, many Santas are there? At least two. Yeah, as far as yeah. I can tell, I've only seen. I can only prove yeah. that there's two. Yeah, I, I know I they they've done like uh, like regional things for Sesame Street though, because like even Canada have like the Sesame Park thing or something. I vaguely yeah. remember. Anyway, that, that's all I want. To touch. <laughs> segway. Segway. Awkward hey. segway. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about like things that we'd like to see adapted into other things. Yes. Yeah. That's a very eloquent way to put it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Things, I think it works. Things it we would good. like to see adapted into the other other things. Uh, who wants to start this one? I can start. Okay. Um, I'd like to see Survivor Man yep. teamed up Ooh. with Gordon Ramsay. Mm. Oh. Like take them both outside and see what they can come up with. Because Survivor Man, he, he's a bare bones kind of operation. And Gordon Ramsay would be like, yeah, I, I, could, I can make this better. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Gordon Ramsay would just end up swearing at everybody all the time. I, I Well, it would, it would just be him and the other dude. That's what I mean, though. I feel like he would just be swearing at him. I, He'd I, pick up two leaves and be like, what are you? No, they'd have to learn how to coexist. to be like the odd couple, but in the Rockies. Yep. And then Interesting. Bear, Bear Grylls shows up for a barbecue. And then no one likes him because he wasn't invited. Yeah. And he's like, dude, you got to go, man. We know we saw what you we did see, to that yeah. turtle. You drank your own pee. Yes, yeah, we like, get it. Go away. We know you have <laughs> catering right off camera. It's, you're not fooling anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, that that would be my first one. Yeah. That would be, uh, yeah. yeah. Any concepts like bush, bush cooking. Yeah, bush cooking. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay, I'd be down for that. Yeah. Yeah, for But sure. like gourmet, like five-star, yeah. Michelin star, like three Michelin star. There's a uh, chef back in Newfoundland, actually. He actually goes out and, like, gets all, like, gets ingredients locally. So he's, like, picking herbs and, like, going and visit the fishermen and stuff like that to pick up uh, things. Yeah, yeah, a lot of chefs have been, like, like yeah. top top chefs. Like, what's, what's the, uh, I don't know if it's still considered the best restaurant in the world, but I would think, is it Numa? Noma? I'm not sure. It's, it's somewhere in, like, the uh, like Netherland region. Yeah. But yeah, dude, just go pick out, like pick a, just like random, well not random, but a local yeah foliage. Basically, well, when like you're into the local and stuff, and yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any fresher than just like pulling something out of the ground. Yeah, it's a yoda or pick, something. Dude goes yeah. in the backyard, grabs it for you. Yeah, does his thing. Yeah, so uh, uh, I guess this is a plug for locally sourced produce. <laughs> yes. We're, we're a farming podcast now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. that was my first one. Yeah, yeah. I, cool. I'd, I'd really like to see that, actually. I, I yeah. Think, I think that would work. I mean, you, you're learning stuff. Yep. Like how to cook and what to eat and what not to eat, probably, hopefully. Yep. And yeah, like, probably having a good time. Don't eat that. Yeah. How to cook for yourself after you've had a plane crash in northern Canada. Yeah, I actually went for like legitimate answers in this topic instead of just like joke ones. Yep. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I think Rachel's a little bit frozen. Oh, and well, got yeah. some lag. Got, got some lag. That's fine. We got to do we gotta F5 oh, that? Oh, fair. You're still here. Yeah, you're still there. But uh, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. How uh, does this microphone get so hairy if no one's using it? Sorry. I don't know. Ghosts. Broke the fourth wall. Fourth wall. <laughs> it's always ghosts. Uh, I'll go next, I guess. Um, sure. Well, for things I like to see adapted, uh, I like to see a video game turned into a mini series. Uh, oh, what is it? The XCOM series. It's about uh, Ooh, love me some XCOM. You like XCOM? Love XCOM. Yeah. Well, I'm still playing the one from like 
2002. Yep. Or that's probably not accurate. But I would love to see that as adapted into a miniseries, like XCOM 1 and then That'd be X- cool. XCOM 1 would be the first series and then XCOM 2 would be the second series. Uh, if you don't know about XCOM, it's about like a uh, international organization that hunts down like a uh, alien invasion that's, uh, you know, kind of subverting governments and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they go out and uh, shoot down UFOs and, uh, you know, they go into cities and stuff and try to clean up uh, alien attacks. Um, yep. Oh, I'm going to play that tonight. You're going to pl- totally play some XCOM? Uh, funny thing about XCOM, though, it's almost a, a reverse adaption because back in the 1970s, there was a British show called UFO. It was done by Jerry Anderson, which is the guy who did the Thunderbirds puppets. But this, is, this nice. isn't a puppet show. But uh, Julian Gallup, the guy who uh, created the initial XCOM DOS game, he based, like, the concepts of XCOM on this show called UFO, which was about, like, this organization called Shadow, which would convertly uh, fight UFOs. And they'd have, like, an interceptor base uh, on the moon uh, for, like, UFOs and stuff like that. Okay. It's a very British thing. It's a 70s British sci-fi. But if you watch it, it's like, yeah, that's, it's pretty much XCOM. But <laughs> I, I would like to see, like, a modern kind of serious take on XCOM. Like, I would love as, to see that. I, would, as I a, will... You give me a script, I will pay for it tonight. Yeah. I will fund that right now. Yeah. I still got to get the second XCOM for uh, my Xbox. Yeah. Both the, both games are great. I've been playing the first one so long that it actually takes <laughs> place in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be in the future. Well, the first, the initial DOS game, like I, I played like the, the first DOS games and like that starts on January 1st, 1999. Oh. Yeah. Back when there's flying cars and... <laughs> Yeah, food replicators. But uh, yeah, no, I'd love to see that kind of a covert alien take him out thing. Yeah, Sec- no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on yeah. board. Sold, sold. And the second totally. game, it's more about like resistance fighters. Like the aliens mm. have actually taken over, so it's more like uh, it's more kind of like V, I guess. Really, the second game, it's more like you're striking from the shadows. You gotta go in and, and get out. So, oh nice. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah I gotta get it on that. Yeah, for sure. But that, oh, brilliant idea. Yep. Yeah. I think Mike just won this episode. <laughs> I don't know. Rachel, what do you got? Well, it's not as cool as that. <laughs> I, nothing um, is, babe. So don't worry no. about it. Like, it's already been made into a film, but I feel like it could be better. Okay. But Doom. Yeah, they haven't like done the Doom, video game? right? Oh, Doom. I, I was like, yeah. Do- Doom or Dune? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so got you, a big you can make a case. Can we still have the rock, though? Yes. Of course. Yeah. 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 But can you imagine him now? Like, he'd be terrifying. Yeah. Isn't he busy, like, right? campaigning to be president? I don't know. No, it's just people have been just saying that they want him as president. Right now, he's working on a new film for Black Adam. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that is happening. Okay, yeah. cool. I don't know if you guys have seen because he's upped his workouts, but the dude is like. <laughs> oh, we're losing you. Like, solid. He's a solid rock. The rock just broke the, <laughs> the feed. Yep. Yeah. The rock broke. The oh, I've seen like, oh. yeah, did. but no, but no, seriously, like he lives, uh, his workout regime for it or whatever. And like, yeah, the dude's scary big, like not even just big, but like massive. It's, it's a little terrifying. What you need, like, to, I'm pretty sure he could put a watermelon between his thighs. And push it. What you need for doom though, is basically what? a guy in a helmet and he doesn't say anything. He just yeah. kill, kills demons for an hour and a half. Like uh, the last yeah, Judge no. Dredd movie or the first Raid movie, which yeah. is basically the same movie. But yeah, yeah last Judge Dredd, which was uh, Urban, yeah. who was the protagonist of the first Doom. That that was yeah. Urban, Carl Urban. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Carl Urban said surprisingly like <laughs> a lot of stuff, but he's only like came on people's radar. I watched Ghost Ship uh, last oh, week. Oh, man, Ghost Ship. I and, forgot and, about oh that. Oh, my the, God. The version of Why? Carl Urban Why did you watch that? that? Yeah, the version of Carl <laughs> Urban in that is like uh, someone's older brother who would drive you to Blockbuster as long as you gave him money. <laughs> He's like, a, I, I don't know how else to describe him. It's like, you buy me a cheeseburger. Yeah, buy me a cheeseburger. I'll take you, you, you guys to Blockbuster for the night. I, I don't, I don't know why I watched Ghost Ship. Like, yeah, it's like what like, possessed you to just, oh, this looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it once before, but I remembered nothing. I've had that we happen all, we before all make too. Mistakes. Yeah, you just like you're like oh like I like I think I watched this, but I can't remember. And then you watch it again, and you're like oh 
Yeah. Right. The, the, only, the only neat thing about that movie is that scene where, like, everybody gets cut in half by the tension cable. I that feel, was pretty cool. Yeah. I, feel like, I will uh, give it that. I feel like re-watching Ghost Ship is like <laughs> putting the peanut butter back in the fridge. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Yeah, crap. But, yeah, no, honestly, I think Doom didn't get, like, a fair shake. Like, I think it's not bad as a movie, but I feel like they could make it better. So It was pretty bad. Yeah. Did you, there is a second movie. Uh, they put out, like, a second. What? Yeah, yeah. They put out a second movie, like, a Somehow. couple years no. ago. No. And uh, uh, the second Where? one is actually, they, they actually work in more, like, references to the actual video game. Mm-hmm. There's, like, a, there's a chainsaw and stuff like that. Second one's a little bit more fun, I, th- I think, than the first movie, but it's still bad. Like it's, yeah. you know, th- okay. they have soldiers in this movie, and the soldiers look like they've they've gone to a thrift store and gotten. It's not even army uniforms; it's just like camo pants, like someone would get at a hunting store. Like, it could, yeah, like, like yeah. the air cadets outfit of like a thirteen year old, pretty much. Hey, hey, about, air cadets, yeah, close yeah. enough. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check that out because like I had no idea that they made a second one. So uh, yeah, I think it's called like an. I, I think it's like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you'd you'd be better off called, watching Ghost Ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't realize Ghost Ship was was so universally like, hated. Yeah, so contentious. Yeah. I yeah, don't it's, think it's it one of those movies just eh. Sorry, Ghost Ship, you tried. Yeah. And they attempted. Point, point okay. for trying. You, you, we're, you got it made. Where were we, by the way? You oh yes. Uh, Doom. Oh, Doom, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Doom could, be, all could of use questions. a redo. Yeah. Doom I think so. I, it'd be interesting too. I don't know if it'd be possible, but maybe doing like a mini series on it. Kind of like a, a limited one. Maybe. Maybe. The, like the that thing, might work better. Yeah, I, I mean, like the main character, the, the Doom Slayer, though he's like he's 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 basically like Nicolas Cage from like that uh, Willie's movie. Yep. He, do, he doesn't say anything. He just goes in and cleans up. That yeah. might not be a bad thing though, because I feel like with the success of Willie's Wonderland, where the protagonist literally said nothing, yeah. it might be a good thing to try out. Right. Maybe, maybe. Um, I'll go next. Yeah, there we go. Because yeah, it. it involves Willy's Wonderland. Okay. Segway! Segway. I'm hey! doing it by myself today. That's okay. <laughs> uh, this, I don't know. Not spin off, but a sequel to Willy's Wonderland. It would be Willy's Wonderland. But it takes place in the diner from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> 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 okay. That's all, that's all I got. That's, 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 all, that's all, as far as I workshopped it. That's I the know, premise. Yeah. Where did that come from? My brain. Yeah. No, no, but I mean, like, what, like, possessed you to be like, yes, this is a thing that needs to happen? It just makes sense. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Picture it. Okay. Like, Willy's Wonderland kind of takes place in, like, a Chuck E. Cheese sort of place. Mm-hmm. Yep. Saved by the Bell Diner is not a far cry from that. Just put them together and it basically writes itself. There you go. Okay. Fair enough. Jesse it- Spano, AC Slater, y- y'all in trouble. <laughs> it's Nicolas Cage still in it, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> I want you have to have Nick Cage. The, the Nicolas Cage uh, Saved by the Bell spinoff that <laughs> nobody asked for. Yeah. So for I'm Chris. asking for <laughs> it. Because <laughs> I think that would be amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's all I got. That's, yeah, uh, Willie's Wonderland sequel that takes place in the diner from Saved by the Bell. Cool. Interesting. I yep. think that'd be amazing. Right. I'd watch that. What about you, Mike? What's your next one? Uh,. Well, mine is uh, based on a like a I wouldn't really call it a board game, but it's like a a war gaming thing. Okay. Uh, it's called uh, BattleTech. Uh, there's a bunch of novels uh, related to it, though. Uh, it okay. was basically Game of Thrones for me when I was a kid, because okay, cool. okay. So there's you know me with like space wars and space, space wars, space wars yes. and space. Uh, basically. Uh, you know, it's the far future. It's the 3000s. Uh, humanity has split into like five different space empires. They all fight each other. It's, it's very Game of Thrones. Like, you know, there's like kings and stuff. Like it's all medieval, like backstabbing, uh, political wrangling. But all the fighting takes place in giant stompy robots. Giant robots and space wars. I like yeah. it. Giant war- mm-hmm. robots and space wars. Sci-fi. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like there's there's a ton of, of lore for this. Like, uh, like I said, there's probably like forty or fifty novels of like different 
you know, content because there's it's so That's vast like, with like the different kingdoms and stuff like that. And then they do uh, they almost do like a, a White Walker type invasion, like in the middle of the storyline where this group of humans that left like what's called the inner sphere, they come back and they have more advanced technology. So I would just like to point out for the okay. very first time that Mike got into my shot. Instead of my Did I? the back of my head getting I'm excited shot. about Battletech. Whoa! Yeah. Here's the thing. It was adapted <laughs> because there was a Battletech cartoon in the 90s. Oh, it? cool. But, they, yeah. Uh, but it's kind of considered... It, was, it wasn't really that great. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was. It lasted for one season, and they kind of had to dumb things down because it was a cartoon for, for kids, so they didn't really get into the whole Ooh, political intrigue yeah. or stuff. Uh, in fact... Uh, like in the the main lore of like this continuing story, they actually reference the cartoon by saying it's like an inversion in, uh, in um, holy crap! <laughs> in, 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 this is staying in. Yeah, in universe adapt like it's an in universe adaption of stuff that happens. So it's like oh, a okay. propaganda piece. So. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, space wars in space, giant snappy robots, and basically the political intrigue of Game of Thrones. Love to see it as like an HBO type series. Cool. Yeah, that sounds like HBO. I like it. Yeah. Looking at you. Rachel. Okay, so this is... <laughs> Sorry. Just thinking about it makes me laugh. But I remember thinking like, okay, what would be a cool board game? Like to kind of like bring into the play. And I remember seeing this like a long time ago. I don't know if it's still around. But somebody had took the time and took board games and made them into horror movies. Okay. And the one I really want to see, because I think it would be not only, like, a great B-horror movie, but it just sounds kind of scary, is uh, Hungry Hippos as, like, a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that could be really good. I'll, I'll, fun, like, I'll fund that one, too. Yeah. Right? Because it's, like, I remember, like, seeing a poster for it, and, like, it was just, like, a fan-based poster. Like, somebody just took the time to make it. And they did it with a bunch of other ones, but I don't know why, but, like, Hungry Hippos stuck with me because I was, like, that would actually be terrifying, like, having a bunch of hippos come and get you. Because, like, I don't think people realize how terrifying hippos actually they're are. They're vicious. Yeah. They're like, actually, they're, yeah, they're responsible for, like, more deaths in Africa than, like, yeah. like lions, lions and, like, and stuff. Like, right? Like, everybody's, much, like, like oh, most yeah. animals put together. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're so cute. Like, they're they're awesome, like animals. I'm like, yeah, but like, I would not want to be like hunted down by one. Unless, like, unless they're house hippos. Yes, the Canadian yep, house, house hippos. hippos. Yes, yeah, yep. peanut butter that's, that's <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> but, Everyone, everyone in the states is like, what the hell are they talking about? House hippos. Look it up. I, Look it up. And it's worth it's to. worth your time. Yeah. yeah, I remember I remember being a kid and seeing that commercial for the first time, and like, obviously. Like the whole like PSA was saying like don't believe everything you see on TV because it's not real. I believed the crap out of that as I feel like many people did because like I used to like leave my crust <laughs> for like the peanut butter like like toast and stuff because I'm like oh it'll come tonight if I if I leave it out it'll come and then like I'd always wake up the next morning and they'd be gone and so like I was like oh my god like we have a house hippo and my dad's like no I just throw out your garbage and I'm like oh yeah that's a, okay if you're not gonna eat your crust throw it out. <laughs> Yeah, but like I, I was saving it for the house hippos. <laughs> now, you know what? After you mentioned like those like, PSAs, all I can think of now is like those stupid puppets. Don't you put it in your mouth? Don't you put it in your mouth? Don't you, mouth. <laughs> Don't you put stuff it in, it in your mouth. face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Do you guys hungry hungry hippos? The... That's it. Sorry, what? No, no. I was gonna say, do you remember the other PSA where they like had like kids showing off like what they like doing? Oh, and yeah. there's that one kid, he's like, I like making dinosaur noises. And then he would, yeah. like, roar. That's his talent. I don't think I saw that but one. He grew up to be a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They and told me I could like, do anything. So. It's like, I like I like sounding like a T-Rex. And then he was like, he'd roar. And then it would switch over to, like, the next kid. And he was just running around doing crazy crap. And then, like, the next kid was sawing his sister in half for, like, a magician's trick. It was, like, the weirdest PSA I think yeah, I remember. I've never seen that one. Really? Oh, it's wild. You should look it up. Definitely it's it's a weird one. Have you ever seen the Clue movie, by the way? Speaking of board John games. Cleese? Oh, no, I, ha I don't think I have. I have not seen it, actually. It's something that, that I um, keep... Tim Curry's I, in it, is right? Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I think. Might, I, I know, might watch it. it. Yeah. Just because Tim Curry. Just because of Tim Curry. I, I've never... But yeah. yeah. Hungry Hungry Hippos. I, I had that as a kid. I would play that game by myself. Yeah. It, like two-handed. Two-handed, yeah. yeah. No, it was a great game, right? So, like, I feel like, I know it's, like, 
I don't want to say slander by like turning it into a horror movie, but like it's almost like they made a battleship sweet. movie. So like yeah. you can you can do anything. They made a battleship yeah. movie, so with Rihanna. Which was terrible. <laughs> I so remember bad. is it I I remember I saw it. I remember nothing. It's going to oh, be a, it? like in 10 years, it's going to be another ghost ship experience yeah, it is, for me. It's it like, I remember watching that this, but I don't Get remember out. anything Just about it. go. <laughs> you have to leave. But um, yeah, Hungry Hippos as a horror movie, yeah. I think would actually do really well. What happens when the hippos become hungry? Starring Run for your lives. Boom, 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 they escape boom, the pen. I don't know. Starring The Rock. Yes. And Kevin Hart, because if you're gonna have The Rock, you should have Kevin Hart in it too. And Scarlett Johansson yeah. playing a trans man. And Jason Bateman for some reason. I'm throwing Jason Bateman yeah. is there. Jason Bateman, yeah. Well, you need the tough British guy. Yep. For sure. <laughs> All, right. All right, moving on. Yeah. Right. Is it me? Yeah. Am I the last one? Um, I would like to see the team that did Into the Spider Verse. Yep. Ooh, do a Bill okay. and Ted's movie. Oh, that oh. one. Yeah. That would be lit. Right? Yeah. That would be so good. Like, your mind kind of fills in all the blanks. I don't yeah. know if I have to say much more than that. It, it writes itself. There was it Bill, does. There was a Bill and Ted cartoon. Yeah. Couple and of, there, there was a live action. Yeah, two of them, actually. Or no, there, there two, was two. There's two cartoons yeah. and a live action sitcom. Yeah. 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 So the Spider-Verse people, I want, I want to see them do a Bill and Ted That movie. would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. I, yeah. yeah. That's, like, yeah, what like, else can you say yeah, about that? Like, yeah. I like... You can picture it, it, it already. Sense. Yeah. Uh, well, for my third one, uh, space battles in space again. Oh, I did. I just did Battle Tech. Now I'm doing Robotech, <laughs> 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 which, which was like one of my first, uh, my first anime actually. Uh, Ooh. But uh, yeah, it, it's about uh, a giant spaceship that lands or well, crash lands on Earth. Uh, humanity rebuilds it. There's a bunch of like giant bodies and skeletons inside the spaceship. They're like, oh, if we get invaded by these guys, we're going to get like owned. So we have to build giant ro- <laughs> robots. I mean, that's my to, answer to everything. To, to, to take them on. Yeah. So they rebuild. It takes place in the future year of 1999. <laughs> yep. Wow. Actually, yeah, it starts in 1999. But uh, uh, the humans rebuild like this giant massive warship. And uh, of course, they have giant transforming robots as well. The aliens, as one does. the aliens do come, yeah. and uh, the ship gets kind of teleported to the other end of the solar system, and they have to kind of fight their way back to Earth. Oh, like Voyager, so, cool. yeah, or like Battlestar Galactica type yeah. thing. You know, they're constantly harassed uh, while they're on the run. Plus, they <laughs> just heckle the yeah. whole way home. But uh, yeah, love to see. Uh, I think they they might actually been be working on a movie there's been talks of them working on a movie for a while for it so uh yeah definitely like to see that plus i i I really feel that the world is ready for giant more giant robots robots. (laughs) (laughs) or at least i am (laughs) yeah plus space battles Um, in space i got a fever and the only (laughs) the only remedy is more robots (laughs) more robots (laughs) awesome Right. Yeah. I got two quick little ones that are Deep Space Nine related. Okay. No, oh, why do you keep skipping me? Oh, did we skip you? Yep. I thought we were done. Okay. No, oh, I go ahead. Worry. My bad. <laughs> Rude. No, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I think it would be really sweet to see. Oh my God, Halo! Actually. Yeah. Halo made into like a film or like a mini series. I used to love the crap out of that game. I like played the PC version quite a bit. So I think it would be interesting to see if they could do like a full out. Yeah. Film for it. Uh, there was a CGI movie yeah, there was that uh, uh, I think made. I saw on Netflix. Um, really? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure there is something. Oh, like yeah. I remember yeah. watching that. But I'm thinking like more live action. Yeah, you know, a live action adaption. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. Master Chief. For sure. Yeah. It's a bunch of books and stuff, too. So, I mean, there's a lot of like lore that you could uh, of, bring in. A lot of canon to pull from. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But what are your two little ones, Chris? All right, um, Deep Space Nine, Quark. Yeah. It would be like Cheers, but in Quark's Quark. bar. <laughs> so it would basically be like, like, like Cheers in space. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cheers in space. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's the best eleva- elevator pitch that we've had. <laughs> that's all. That. Cheers in space. That's, yeah, that's all you need. On Deep Space Nine. Because there's, there's always, like, there was like the standalone like Quark's bars episodes. Yeah. I don't think they could carry a show. So, yeah. Cheers <laughs> in space. 
but like quirks and like Morn's there. Morn would walk in, everybody would cheer. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be yeah. like the norm of the group. Like, oh, <laughs> but Morn, it's, it's already there. Yep. And also, uh, Cisco gets bored of hanging out with the wormhole aliens and yep. decides to get back to Earth and starts a cooking show. Nice. Plus, so, he plays yeah. baseball. Yeah, he plays baseball in his downtime. Yeah. I mean, his family owns a restaurant in San Francisco already, so he's kind of got his foot in the door. So Cisco just kind of says, you know what? Yeah. Cooking show. Yeah, that's it. Just called Cisco's. There you go. Yep. Those my, See, uh, that would work so well. Empires. Yep. I think that'd be great. Be, yeah, that'd be uh, much better than the spinoffs that they've been doing recently. Yeah, no kidding. Hey? <laughs> so, so cheers in space <laughs> yeah. and Cisco's cooking show called Cisco's. Yep. I like it. I, I love Hollywood, where you at? Yep. Um, ev- everyone go through their stuff? I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, My uh, notes are pretty disorganized. <laughs> <laughs> w- one idea I crossed off the list, I was going to just not mention it, but an Avengers-style movie yeah. populated by uh, serial mascots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like Captain okay. Crunch just breaking the, tw- tw- <laughs> the Trix Rabbit's nose. Who would be it's the bad like, guy? Like, I'm who would be the Thanos? Probably Count Chocula? The, nice. The Soggies from Captain that. Crunch, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They could be, like, the minions. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking Captain Crunch would be kind of Captain America. Yeah. yeah. Sugar Bear would be in there. Yep. The Trix Rabbit, and I think he'd be, like, kind of like a double agent. I think so. Oh, I like that. He's, he's, like, yeah. the sneaky guy? Yeah, Trix. Yep. Uh, you'd have uh, he'd Loki. L- Lucky, the leprechaun. He'd be, like, Loki. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the Honey Nut Cheerios B, he'd be kind of like, maybe like Spider-Man or Ant-Man. Be the Wasp. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, basically. Huh? The Wasp. Oh. Yeah. Uh, who else we got? <laughs> Serial Avengers. Yeah. This is something that could, like, could have happened in the 90s or yeah, the 80s. Probably. Yeah. I, yeah. It would not have surprised me if No, if, if that existed. I can't think, like, what other, like, big cereal name brands, though, could you use? Because I was, I was going to say Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they don't really have, like, a a mascot, you know? Like, yeah. they have those little squares with the arms, but, like, yeah. <laughs> that's it. You can use those as, as ammo. Oh, Tony the Tiger. Yeah, can't forget oh, him. Did, he would, you'd have to be Tony Stark, I think. <laughs> yeah, Iron, Tiger. Tony, Iron Tiger. Iron Tiger. Does a honeycomb still have that, like... Aussie type of dude. They they had like an Australian uh, looking dude for a while. I have no really. idea what you're talking about. I've H- honeycombs? eaten honeycombs. Yeah, yeah. I've eaten honeycombs my entire life. I never saw a mascot on theirs. Uh, maybe this is like a no uh, yeah. a Mandela thing. But I could have swore they had like a like an Aussie kind of dude like for a while. Yeah, at least. Cookie Crisp had like robbers. I've never had yeah. Cookie Crisp. Oh, dude, I got. I mean, either. Yeah. I, well, I had some at home. I ate it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no the 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 Cookie Crisp is uh, it's a wolf. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, man, who else? Is it good? Yeah. Right about it. Oh, what? Uh, uh, snap, think... crackle, and pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the How elves. How did about those guys? Yeah. I, actually, I like, to see, Sam? I like to see the yep. snap, crackle, and pop f- face off against the Keebler elves. Yeah, that'd be a bloodbath. Yeah. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> that would not be a good time. <laughs> we're, we're probably missing a few. <laughs> but how did we get here? That was, that was my fault. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry, people. No, that's that's fine. That's I think uh I think that would be something people would be interested in though. Why did you cross that off? That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. It was late. I, You're I, just like mm. I was at three pages of notes, <laughs> so I had to start editing. He I knows. love it. Oh, one more food I'd like to see, uh, since we're talking about my notes. Uh the mushrooms from Super Mario. Oh yeah. 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 That'd be interesting. Yeah. They don't get them high. They just give them, like, crazy superpowers. So they basically double your height. Yeah, and you can jump, like, stupid high. Yeah. So, like, you do the flower, too, right? Like, the yeah. one that gives you, like, the fire powers. And, uh, and if, you know, you can go with uh, the leaf that makes you the raccoon that can fly. Yeah. T- yeah. Or Tanuki Mario. That was, that was my favorite. Yep. You kind of you kind of got to wonder, though. It's like, what would happen if, like, people actually did that, though? Like, if you just touched a leaf and all of a sudden you have a tail and you can fly? Like, that would be... I feel like you would... Be really spooked by that at first. You can touch a leaf and get bumps. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> you can get get poison ivy. Right there. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Uh, Man, we are wandering on this one. Th- th- that's fine. Oh, yeah, we are. That's fine. That's fine. Um, has anyone seen or read or anything that they want to talk about? Anything new? Oh, um, I watched a really good movie. Okay. And it's, it's CanCon. Go, so sh- go ship. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that. Not that. Uh, no, it's uh, a buddy of mine. He just released his first feature film. It's called Hall. Yep. Um, it's available on video on demand, so like you can get it anywhere. Uh, I rented it off YouTube for like four ninety nine, but you can also buy it too. But uh, yeah, really good film. It's like a zombie film that takes place in a hotel. Okay. And um, yeah, I, if you're interested in zombies and like that kind of stuff, I would definitely suggest it. It it's a little bit of a slow burn, but it's worth it. Like you get really attached to characters really easily and. It's uh, it's a really good watch. I remember watching it with my parents. They were like so upset because they got attached to a character, and it's uh, like, yeah. It's called uh, what again? Hall. H A L L. Hall. Okay. Yeah. Like hallway. Yeah. I'll have yeah. To check it out. Yeah, I would definitely suggest it for sure. Yep. Oh, and one more, uh, one more honorable mention. Sure. Because it's never gonna happen, but we've talked about it on the show. Saga. Yes. There's yes. been a ton of people who want to get that. In production, but the creators are like it's not happening. It's yeah, it's why? it's so wild. There's, I guess. there's like no, yeah, no. But why? Why are they like no though? They just want nothing to do with it. I guess uh, probably. I mean, I I'm only speculating here, but I know uh, Brian K. Vaughn, the writer, author. Yeah. He uh, wrote for Lost for a bit, and maybe that sour yeah, sour him on, yeah. The oh, whole, maybe uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. I- interference by studio execs. Yeah, because I've, I've, I've seen no, okay. interviews like, "Hey, when's like when's Saga coming to like the big or small screen?" He's like, yeah. he's like "No, it's, no, not happening." I mean, I, I I'd, get... I'd like to see it as like a limited animated series. I think that, that would, would be, be the cool. best way to adapt it. Yeah, I agree. Get, not without Fiona Staples though. Yeah, no, uh, she'd have We'd to ha- do no. all the production art. Yeah, like she'd have to be in charge of the art for that, for sure. But it, it kind of makes me sad that they're like, no, because yeah, it's, it's like I feel like no. that's that's such an incredible like graphic novel that like it would make an incredible like even just like a limited series. Yeah, done so well that makes me sad. It would be yeah. great, I think. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's hard no, foot down, not happening. Sad panda. Yeah. Oh, well, you still got the books. No, I know, but like it'd be cool to see like who who they would pick for like the voicing and stuff and like. You know what I mean? Oh no, no yeah, I, I'm with you. I would love to see it. And would any Kiefer be in it? Oh, Kiefer yeah. would be all in there. Yeah, I uh, could see Kiefer voice in someone. I Ooh. could too. Yeah, that's that's a whole other episode. Yep. I, oh yeah. I'd have to sit down sure. and get my red string <laughs> out and start connecting pieces of like, Act- news clippings. Yeah. Another uh, thing that I would like to see, because I know Disney's done a lot, a lot of live actions lately, but I would love if they did uh, Atlantis as a live action. I don't know if anybody else has seen that, but it was a really good animated one, and That's I think right. it's underrated. Yeah. So it's I think it'd be cool to see yeah. that one as a live action. Michael J. Fox, right, was the I think so, yeah. main voice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was. I For me, it's like if I had like my dream cast, I would definitely put um, Tom Holland as Milo, because I feel like he would fit that character yeah. really well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, definitely fits the uh, arch type. Right? Yeah. And then, like, I've, I've seen people put uh, Angelina Jolie in, like, their dream cast for her. Like, the lady with the ponytail. She's kind of, like, the badass. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, can't, yeah I'm like, I can't remember I can anybody's that. name now yeah. from it, but... I can't yeah. either. I haven't seen that the only person so I remember long. is uh, Milo, obviously, but... Yeah. Yeah, it was that... That's definitely one I'd like to see. Kind of that period where they did uh, Treasure Planet and Atlantis. Like, both of them got kind of panned, I, I think. Yeah, but like they both were really good films, though. Yep. I thought I I enjoyed them more than some of the most recent ones they released. Like Frozen was overhyped. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Maybe you just have to let it go. Is it trash talking in Frozen <laughs> time? <laughs> Shaking my head at you. Yeah. No, I like I get why people like Frozen. It's just like for me, it was overhyped because people were like, "Oh my god, it's such a beautiful story," and, uh, and I'm like. Yeah, but, like, this is not the first Disney movie that didn't have, like, a love interest. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it was. So no, it wasn't. South? Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, Shaking my yeah, head at you. Yeah, just... You do not want to go at me with, like, <laughs> Disney trivia. I will pummel you into the ground. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first <laughs> love story they ever told. <laughs> I didn't hear what you just said, but okay. Pretty sure that was the first love story they ever told. Yes. Disney has no, no. Not, not done love stories ever. Actually, okay, there. What's the worst love story Disney ever produced? Song of the Seth. What one? Song of the Seth. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Was that a love story, though? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, all I know is, like, it's their controversial. Sleeping, yeah. Sleeping Beauty was pretty lame. Yeah. You'd say Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, it's pretty lame. I didn't, I don't know. It didn't. 
like don't get me cool. wrong like the hand-drawn animation was beautiful oh but... yeah it looked great i mean especially oh sleepy time. hollow <laughs> yeah that was uh, that was a weird one like the tim burton one well even the cartoon i think is was a bit weird the cartoon was weird there's a cartoon yeah. Yeah, like that. Like, that would be yeah. like on TV every Halloween. Would be like sleepy. Yeah, Hollow. absolutely. Yeah, I was out but doing I, stuff on Halloween, so I wasn't watching if TV. I, if I had to pick like the worst Disney love story, though, I think I'd probably say um, Aladdin and Jasmine. <laughs> Go, going back to Chris from last week. <laughs> I was going to throw it back. Yep. To, wow. No, this one's going on YouTube, so we got to keep it clean, people. Yep. Yep. Well, no, the only reason I say that though is because like. I love like I love Aladdin. I think it's a great movie. But like, if you're starting your relationship straight up on lies, yep, that's a little iffy. Yeah, not a good foot to launch off of. No, no, not really. It's not a romantic relationship, but like uh, a relationship that's terrifying to me is like Mother Gothel and uh, Rapunzel. Oh yeah, like an abusive par- controlling parent. Mm-hmm. Snow White. Like, if you want to talk yeah. about scary, oh yeah, yeah, d- stepmom dwarves, yep. Trying to think of it. Oh, and obviously the Hunchback and Frollo. <laughs> we're terrible. Basically, yeah. We're basically just listing Disney movies. <laughs> like, yeah. Actually, they're all terrible. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> no, I would say, uh, what was it? Uh, the friendship relationship in Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, is good. Like Wreck It Ralph and um, they, they kind of ruined it in Nelly. the second movie. They kind of did, yeah. Yeah, but I, I did like that one. Um, I'm trying to think other romantic relationships. I don't know. But that's it. That's all I could think of. <laughs> or bad ones, I we guess. Should, yeah. yeah, I think that's a good spot to... To, to wrap it up? Yeah. Uh, I think so. <laughs> all right. Unless we just gonna hang out for the rest Man, of the day. Yeah. Know where we, we got in the weeds quite a few times on this one, but that's yeah. fine. That'll be the episode title. That's fine. The weeds. We're, we're, being, the we're weeds. being authentic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. We're being sincere. You're not getting some yeah. polished, no. produced, rehearsed We're, we're not sponsored practice. by nobody. We don't have to impress anyone. <laughs> but... Hey, me undies. Yeah. If you want to talk. talk. Stamps.com. Yep. <laughs> we mail stuff around here. We can use some help. Yep. But make sure you uh, subscribe. Yeah, for sure. Hit, hit those like. Like, like buttons. Oh, you got you to gotta do better than hit it. What do you got to do? Smash. 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 Leave a comment, too. Yeah. If you like it. If you don't like it, let yeah. us know. Oh, let, let's, let's, let's try a comment question. Yes. What, what can we bring up? Uh, what would you like to see adapted? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Get some engagement going. For sure. And we're on BitChute. Think- Don't forget us on BitChute. Media Minute, all one word. Yep. We Keep- love it. Yeah. Well, we're, like- we're out here begging for begging for change. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up this edition of Media Minute yeah, Roundtable. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> I'm Michael Forward. I'm barely Chris Reskowski. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of Rachel Edge. <laughs> we'll see you next time. On Media Minute. Boom. Oh, God. <laughs>